Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today we're playing some more Minecraft. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen you guys, it's been a long while. And man, that fire outside is very annoying. So you might uh, might notice something a little bit different about my videos. Uh, they are a lot nicer sounding. It's got a new microphone, it's called the Blue Yeti. It cost me uh, one heck of a pretty penny, but it was completely worth it. I think if I'm going to be doing this in the long run, I might, well, might as well be more enjoyable for you. So, I haven't really played around with the settings so much, or too much, so please forgive me if the sound quality is not the best right now, but hopefully it will be. And uh, what I've decided to do in this video is go exploring a little bit. It's pretty foggy, but I like it that way a little bit. Or, not a little bit, but a lot. But I wanted to... Let's venture a little bit out further this way, just to check and see what's out here. I collect a lot of sand from this area, just shaving off layer by layer. Um, I cleared like a whole, not mountain, but a good good sized hill of sand right over there. And uh, I've been thinking about ending my beginner's run and starting a new quest or some other series after... Uh, after a while, I don't know when exactly that will be, uh, maybe soon, but I really want to find out, uh, or I really want to figure out a name for it. That would be pretty neat, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about like telling my adventures in Atlanta. It was very fun while I was down there. I met a lot of awesome people, and I miss them a lot. And I did take some photos and some videos, so perhaps I'll make a separate video uh, just for those just to show you what went down uh, not too much or not too much was captured on camera so that is a little bit unfortunate but uh, this is some pretty far far generated territory I believe that way was where I came from don't have my map with me oh see I got a new skin I made it myself he's got no eyes but uh, but what is what the hell Whoa. This must be one of those newly generated pyramids that uh, Notch put in. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I built this right before I left. I uh, finished up on it. It's uh, a 40 by 40 pyramid that took me a long time to build, all made of sandstone. And inside, there's an obstacle course. See? I built it and I can't even get across. And it's, it's pretty dangerous and if you fall uh, in the water you have to swim out from under the pyramid. And that one's filled with lava. You won't be swimming in that. These jumps are a little bit hard to make. Oh look at that lava. That's weird. What's this? Oh, this is really difficult to get past. Like you have to swim past it without getting pushed into the... Oh. Yeah by the way I'm on peaceful. I was on peaceful on my hacking, uh, on my hacking world, so sorry I was on peaceful on this world just for a minute. I mean, I don't play on peaceful on this world, but whatever. This is just an annoyance, annoyance little deal right here. That's annoying. It's kind of hard to swim, and here's the thing, you gotta hold shift or else you'll get pushed into the lava. And if you jump around, you jump from block to block, you'll hit your head on one of these, and you will die. I don't know why, but this is like... I don't know, it seems a little, like, a little bit scary. I know monsters can't spawn on water, but still, it's pretty dark. There's some more lava. I collected all this lava from the nether. All of it. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. This took a long time to build. Uh, I remember when I, it took forever to like make this first floor that we're standing on right now. And then when I started like cutting holes in it and started filling it with lava, I kind of felt bad. But, and here's the end. Here's the second level uh, of the pyramid. And I put lava in the corners because it looks kind of cool, but, and plus I had some extra. But I don't know what to put in here. So give me an idea. Um, 
I'm open to any ideas, so if you want me to put something in it, like a little, maybe just completely dedicate this floor to something and, you know, put a bunch of signs in there or something like that. Here's the third floor. It's a little bit smaller. You got ladders. Fourth floor, little penthouse. It's pretty small and cozy. And it's open right here. Why? Well, uh, here, I'll just have to take a little bit right there. I have four diamond and four blocks of gold. All of this is my legit diamond. I think I have about I think I have about seven diamond left and I have a couple more blocks of gold, so I'm not completely hosed, but you may know what I'm about to do with this. And hopefully it shows how uh how into Minecraft you can get. I'm going to top this pyramid. A ring of gold. Then on top of that, 36 diamonds. And that's it, people. That is actually the end of the beginner's run. I've decided that I've built this amazing, or not necessarily amazing, it's not as big as I would like it to be, it's 40 by 40, but it's still not as big as I would like it to be. This is all unused space. This is where the lava is, the lava is held. And I mark this right here, this is a torch, so I can get out. And... I'm going to go to sleep, but I've got to do it quickly because there are monsters around. Now, I don't want to walk all the way back to my fortress, so I can just go in here. And here's you know, a lava bucket, some seeds, shovels, just basic needs for us, you know, passing the night and everything. But I was building the thing, and I built it. I built the entire thing while on uh, normal did not switch it to peaceful and uh... <laughs> kind of changed my render distance down or up, excuse me oh wow I'm kind of pr I mean I I hate pride uh... human pride is uh, well that's just another topic for another day but I don't know man. I feel really good about building this entire thing and I feel you know I've I've kind of dedicated it to you guys. I mean, like, this is just... Oh, gosh, it's just... So, it feels so good to give this, you know, something like this into a video. Just to show you... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, boy. That is just fine. I really don't care. I really don't care. And sorry if I sound like I have a frog in my throat. It seems like that's what it feels like. But as you can see, there I didn't collect too much sand from here. Keep it looking natural. Uh, don't have too many torches. I don't think I have any torches out in front of it. So uh, unless you looked for it, you wouldn't be able to find it by like you know searching for where my put my torches. Uh, let me get all my stuff back. Now, now that that's over with, gosh, freaking creepers, ruining my videos, oh well, it's been a while since I've commentated, so I noticed I got pretty quiet there, but thanks to my monster spawner, I've been able to collect enough gunpowder for the destruction of uh, this sand, and this was definitely not near enough sand to build that entire pyramid. Basically, every uh, every four blocks of sand is equal to one piece of sandstone. So, as you can tell, it took a lot of sand. But there was also 
uh, something that you could take advantage of, which is if you dig down far enough, you get to sandstone. There's about, I believe, about three blocks, tends to be three blocks of sandstone below sand, uh, which means it's like, you know, been compressed. That's basically the physics behind it, uh, or at least the Minecraft physics. But uh, that's basically how I got most of it, because there's no way I could collect that much sand. Just imagine four of those built out of sand. It's way too much. But here's my other sand mine. Uh, oop. Lagging a lot. This is pretty far off, but and then there's one last place over here, which is even further off. And, uh, oh, I hear zombies. But yeah, it took me a ton of time to build, and it's definitely, I think that's the best use for diamonds I've ever used. I mean, I'm cool with using stone picks and iron picks if, you know, if there's a surplus of iron, which there is. But most of my iron is going to be going towards my minecart system, which is going to be the first episode in my newer Minecraft series. Um, this is basically just for the people that are just getting started with Minecraft. Um, the reason why I build stuff, like, I realize that, you know, when you're just starting Minecraft, you don't build huge cactus farms, because cactus is worthless, or pretty worthless. But uh, that's just an example of what you can build, and I think that's kind of important to uh, to let people know when you're when you're playing Minecraft, when you're starting off Minecraft. It may seem stupid, you know, building a dirt house, but you know this that was just to give them a little taste of what you can build. And the first episodes in my new Minecraft series is um, basically to help the more seasoned players uh, get more interesting ideas and kind of renew their interest in Minecraft. But I think that's going to be about it for this video. I'm going to Go ahead, render this out, see what the quality sounds like of my new microphone. But I also went on a, spl a spending spree. I didn't just buy a microphone, I bought an HDTV. Okay, it's a Sony Bravia E500. Sony Bravia E500. Um, it's a 32 inch TV, it's 450 bucks. Uh, it's not 3D, which is, I mean, I really don't care, so I don't care at all. Um, and I believe that's about it, so look forward to seeing more gameplay from, like, uh, from, oh, you know what, this is going to be a longer episode. I'm going spelunking. You know what, actually, no I'm not, nope. Get out of here. Alright, well, maybe in the next video we'll do something fun. Well, actually, in the next Minecraft video we're going to be building that new minecart station. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and if you've watched up to this point, please rate the video, and if you really enjoyed this video, please favorite it, as this will be my last episode in the beginner's run. So, let's take a look at that. Okay, I'm, I'm dragging on. Thanks for watching. Bye.